I am uh, obviously thrilled to be marrying you in just a couple hours from now. I've been dreaming about marrying you since eighth grade, uh, and I told my dad that I was going to marry you in eighth grade, and uh, he proceeded to say that I was not, and I was immature and in uh, just such a young age, but um, I proved him wrong on one thing. I'm just so thrilled to live life with you and just to get to grow from what you've established in your foundation in Jesus Christ. and how you've uh, learned and how you've taught so many people about him. Um, and I'm just so excited to become one uh, in here just a little bit. And I sure do love you, sweetie. <laughs> I got something in my eye. <laughs> mm, I love you. I love you too. It's really pretty. You did good. We had a theology of coincidence. We might think it was by chance that these two kept bumping into each other, but we don't. We have a theology of God who is sovereign, and looking back, it's easy to see how you continued to orchestrate the weaving of your paths. You just kept passing each other. First, it was Ben Milam with Maddie in kindergarten and Luke in first grade. Next, it was an instant messenger conversation with Maddie. In seventh, Luke was in eighth. The weaving in and out of each other's day-to-day -day lives continued over the years, dating, not dating, moves, seemingly random interactions, until March 2016. When Maddie moved to Dallas, that's when this love story really began to take off a text message that led to a dinner on April 22nd. A night that began as a chance to catch up became an evening of laughter and connection that was comfortable and romantic. In his timing and under his direction, he has brought each of you here tonight where he will merge your two paths into one new path through this covenant of marriage. In Genesis chapter 2, God stated that it's not good that man should be alone. I will make a helper comparable to him. It was with that declaration that God sent Adam into the laboratory of life, giving him the assignment to go and name all of the animals. Where Adam comes to the conclusion that he is in fact all alone. All of the animals had a mate, but Adam saw that there was no one for him. It was with that recognition that God now acted on what he had already known. He created Eve and then presented her to Adam when we have that very first wedding. Luke, if you would, repeat after me. I, Luke, take you, Maddie. I, Luke, take you, Maddie. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And I do covenant and promise. And I do covenant and promise. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And now Luke and Maddie, having committed yourselves to God and to one another, with the exchanging of the vows and the symbol of the rings, I therefore, acting on the authority of the word of God, and in accordance with the laws of the great state of Texas, pronounce you husband and wife, one flesh in Jesus Christ. Hey, 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 hey. Not yet. And what God has joined together, let no man separate. Luke, you may kiss your bride.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Luke Thacker. September the 30th is the opening day of archery season. And so all of you archers, thank you for being here. That's a huge sacrifice. <laughs> and uh, anyhow, thank you for sharing this time with us. I'm, of course, I love Maddie, but I love Luke too. And uh, I, um, she did good. She did really well. And so she's yours now. They weren't, weren't always together, as you guys know their story, but when it came to any other girl in Luke's path, Maddie was always the bar. She was the standard. So it's just amazing how they've, they've gotten back together and, and God's putting them um, together forever here in their, their marriage. And so it's, it's really special. I remember not too long ago, Luke was like, oh, this girl named Maddie texted me to, to reconnect. She's moved back to Dallas. I tell he was a little bit nervous. I was like, I've never seen Luke nervous. <laughs> but he said, you know, back when we dated, I thought this was the girl that I was going to marry. And obviously it worked out. Now, Luke, I know her dogs are going to be your best friends. And um, you are just so incredibly happy for them to share your home. What a joy. <laughs> so, Maddie, I have literally prayed over you and over your spouse. I prayed God would send you someone who complimented you in all the right ways and was a family man. I'm so blessed God answered those prayers and brought Luke back into your life. Congratulations to you too, and I love you both. Here's to Maddie and Luke.